today. We're kicking off a number of special reports getting you ready for the next hurricane. The state of Alabama, no stranger to tropical storm damage, but what exactly poses the greatest threat? Storm Team meteorologist Sarah Canty takes a look. We've seen our fair share of damage from tropical systems here in central Alabama. Local researchers have found that a lot of people are confused about what part of a hurricane actually poses the greatest threat for us. The standstill traffic is one of the lasting images of Irma's impact on central Alabama. The last hour to Birmingham has been stopped, or five miles an hour. Irma's slow track towards the states fueled fear and had many packing their bags <laughs> and finding refuge in places like Hoover. This one made us worried. This is the one that we got the feeling in our stomach where we actually considered putting the car, the, you know, the boards on our windows and getting out. Many people in the state of Florida thought the entire state was going to receive category four, category five winds due to the large size of Irma when in actual researcher Jason Sinkbeel found that storm. many evacuees during Irma had misconceptions about the potential damage. Everybody was just so scared of the wind. They thought they were going to get 145 mile an hour winds in the middle of the state. What we found in Irma is that sometimes you don't have to to drive 24 hours to get to safety. You just have to drive out of the storm surge zone and out of the higher wind zone. That's because of strict Florida building code. Even though we are far enough away from the coast, a quick moving storm could still cause wind damage locally. But often our greatest threat is flooding. Slow moving storms, those are your inland flooding threats. If you've got a storm that's just crawling along, then you can pile up a foot to possibly three feet of rain, and that's probably going to cause more damage than the wind. Another misconception for the impacts here locally is you often will hear us talk about the tornado threat with tropical systems. Sinkville says this shouldn't cause a lot of anxiety because, yes, the tornadoes in feeder bands can cause damage, but typically they are weaker and normally not on the ground for as long. So as long as you are not in a mobile home and in your safe place, you will likely be fine. In studio, Sarah Canty, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.